The University of Connecticut UConn, is a public land grant, National Sea Grant and National Space Grant research university in Storrs, Connecticut, United States. It was founded in 1881. The primary 4,400-acre campus is in Storrs, Connecticut, approximately a half-hour's drive from Hartford and 90 minutes from Boston. It is a flagship university that is ranked the best public national university in New England and is tied for 24th in top public schools and tied for 64th best national university in the 2020 U.S. News & World Report rankings. UConn has been ranked by Money Magazine and Princeton Review top 18th in value. The university is designated R1 doctoral universities highest research activity with the Carnegie classification of institutions of higher education classifying the student body as more selective its most selective admissions category. The university has been recognized as a public ivy, defined as a select group of publicly funded universities considered to provide a quality of education comparable to those of the Ivy League. UConn is one of the founding institutions of the Hartford, Connecticut, Springfield, Massachusetts Regional Economic and Cultural Partnership Alliance known as New England's Knowledge Corridor. UConn was the second U.S. university invited into Universitas 21, an elite international network of 24 research-intensive universities, who work together to foster global citizenship. UConn is accredited by the New England Association of Schools and Colleges. UConn was founded in 1881 as the Storrs Agricultural School, named after two brothers who donated the land for the school. In 1893, the school became a land-grant college. In 1939, the name was changed to the University of Connecticut. Over the next decade, social work, nursing and graduate programs were established, while the schools of law and pharmacy were also absorbed into the university. During the 1960s, Yukon Health was established for new medical and dental schools. John Dempsey Hospital opened in Farmington in 1975. Competing in the American Athletic Conference as the Huskies, UConn has been particularly successful in their men's and women's basketball programs. The Huskies have won 21 NCAA championships. The UConn Huskies are the most successful women's basketball program in the nation, having won a record 11 NCAA Division I national championships tied with the UCLA Bruins men's basketball team and a women's record four in a row 2013-2016, plus over 40 conference regular season and tournament championships. UConn also owns the two longest winning streaks of any gender in college basketball history. Topic. History UConn was founded in 1881 as the Storrs Agricultural School. It was named after Charles and Augustus Storrs, brothers who donated the land for the school as well as initial funding. Women began attending classes in 1891 and were officially admitted in 1893, when the name was changed to Storrs Agricultural College and it became Connecticut's land-grant college. In 1899, the name changed again to Connecticut Agricultural College, in 1933, to Connecticut State College, and finally, in 1939, to the University of Connecticut. In 1940, the school was first divided into individual colleges and schools, reflecting its new university status. This was also the year the School of Social Work and School of Nursing were established. The graduate program was also started at this time, and the schools of law and pharmacy were absorbed into the university. PhDs have been awarded since 1949. During the 1970s, Yukon Health was established in Farmington as a home for the new School of Medicine and School of Dental Medicine. John Dempsey Hospital opened in Farmington in 1975 and has been operated by Yukon ever since. In 1995, a state-funded program called Yukon 2000 was passed by the Connecticut General Assembly and signed into law by then-Governor John G. Rowland. This 10-year program set aside $1 billion to upgrade campus facilities, add faculty, and otherwise improve the university. An additional $1.3 billion was pledged by the state of Connecticut in 2002 as part of a new 10-year improvement plan known as 21st Century Yukon. 
An agreement was reached in 2012 to launch Jackson Laboratories' $1.1 billion Genomic Medicine Lab on the Farmington Yukon Health Campus as part of the Bioscience Connecticut Initiative. In 2013, Governor Daniel P. Malloy signed into law Next Generation Connecticut, committing $1.7 billion in funding over a decade to enhance Yukon's infrastructure, hire additional faculty, and upgrade STEM initiatives. Campuses Stores Campus The primary and original Yukon campus is in Stores, a division of the town of Mansfield, 22 miles 35 kilometers east of Hartford, Connecticut's capital and bordered by the towns of Coventry, Willington, Wyndham, and Ashford. Libraries The University of Connecticut Libraries form the largest public research collection in the state. The main library is the Homer D. Babbage Library, on Fairfield Way in the center of campus. In 1882, Charles Storrs donated the first volumes to the University Library Collection, specifically, of the Agriculture School. The university formerly housed its primary library collections in the Old Whitney Building, one of the first Agriculture School buildings. The library migrated from Old Main to the basement of Beach Hall in 1929. The collection then moved to the Wilbur Cross Building and remained there until the 1970s. The current main library, Homer Babbage, was formerly known as the Nathan Hale Library. It underwent a $3 million renovation that was completed in 1998, making it then the largest public research library in New England. The Stores campus is also home to the university's music and pharmacy libraries, and the Thomas J. Dodd Research Center, home to the university's archives and special collections, including university records, rare books, and manuscript collections. Each of the regional campuses also have their own libraries, including the Jeremy Richard Library at the Stamford campus. These libraries are tied into the Babbage Library through a shared catalog. The Babbage-based collection places Yukon among the top 30 universities in the nation for library holdings and funding, containing more than 2.5 million print volumes, approximately 2,500 current print periodicals, more than 35,000 unique electronic journals through the eJournal Locator, 2.8 million units of microfilm, 180,000 maps at the Map and Geographic Information Center New England's largest public map collection, millions of electronic books and an array of free electronic information sources. The UCL also license approximately 265 electronic search databases, many of which contain the full text of research journals, monographs, and historic documents. The Lyman Maynard Stowe Library, housed at Yukon Health, was one of eight federally funded national network of libraries of medicine libraries from 1991 to 2001. The University of Connecticut School of Law houses the School of Law Library at its campus in Hartford. The Stowe and Law Libraries have catalogs separate from the Babbage system, making the total library holdings of the University of Connecticut much higher than the 2.5 million print volumes of Babbage. UConn participates in several outside library consortia, including the New England Law Library Consortium and the Northeast Research Libraries Consortium. The Dodd Research Center has also formed a partnership with the African National Congress to share materials with South African scholars. Topic campus The Yukon campus at Stores is home to the Connecticut Repertory Theater CRT, run by the Department of Dramatic Arts. The theater complex has three venues, the 486-seat Harriet S. Jorgensen Theater, the 241-seat Nafe Catter Theater, and the 116-seat Studio Theater. CRT is a member of the Theater Communications Group, the National Service Organization for the Professional Theater. The Stores campus also houses the William Benton Museum of Art and the Ballard Institute and Museum of Puppetry, the only institution in the United States that offers a master's degree in puppetry. Among the research facilities on campus is the George Safford Torrey Life Sciences Building, one of the primary sites of biology research and education at UConn. 
Built in 1961, in 1980 the building was named in honor of Tory, former head of the university's botany department. Tory, who came to Connecticut Agricultural College in the fall of 1915 to teach botany, became head of the Department of Botany in 1929 and served in that role until 1953. A collection of his papers, including notebooks, correspondence, memoranda, administrative records, reports, photographs, and various types of slides and film strips, are housed in the archives and special collections at the Thomas J. Dodd Research Center. The Tory Life Sciences Building houses offices for the Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology, the Department of Physiology and Neurobiology, the Department of Molecular and Cell Biology, and Biology Central Services. Because it is situated in a fairly rural area, the Yukon campus at Stores has facilities that allow it to be virtually self-sufficient. All heat on campus is steam, and where possible sidewalks were laid over the underground connectors to keep the snow off. In 2005, a cogeneration plant was activated, which generates most of the electricity for the campus, and uses the exhaust steam for the campus central heating system. The university owns its own public water system and waste water treatment facility. With the support of a growing number of industry leaders based in Connecticut, Yukon is at the forefront of developing clean, alternative sources of renewable energy using fuel cell technology. In April 2012, Yukon commissioned a fuel cell power plant at its depot campus that will supply the campus with clean and efficiency energy, cooling and heating. The installation of a ClearEdge Power, former UTC Power, Purecell system is the latest step by Yukon to reduce its carbon footprint and build a sustainable community. The fuel cell installation was made possible through a federal stimulus grant from Connecticut's Clean Energy Finance and Investment Authority. The University of Connecticut Police Department is a fully functional police agency with the same statutory authority as any municipal police department in the state of Connecticut. State and internationally accredited, the department is responsible for protecting lives and property at the University of Connecticut and all adjacent areas within the jurisdiction of the Yukon Police Department. This includes the main campus in stores and the regional campuses. The Yukon Division of Public Safety also includes the Yukon Fire Department, an office of the Fire Marshal and Building Inspectors. The Yukon Stores campus is equipped with a blue light system which allows students to press an emergency button which will notify the police to come to that location. Yukon 2000 was a public private partnership to rebuild, renew, and enhance the University of Connecticut from 1995 to 2005, funded by the State of Connecticut. Yukon 2000 was enacted by the Connecticut General Assembly in 1995 and signed into law by Governor John G. Rowland. The construction projects were overseen by President Philip E. Austin. The legislature renewed the construction investments through 21st Century Yukon, the continuation of Yukon 2000, which is another billion-dollar construction investment by the state to upgrade facilities at the University of Connecticut. It passed the Connecticut General Assembly and was signed into law by Governor Rowland in 2002. By the time of the project's completion, every building on campus will be new or completely renovated. Money has also been put into the regional and satellite campuses, including the new School of Business facilities in downtown Hartford. Next Generation Connecticut is a multi-faceted $1.5 billion plan to build the state's economic future through strategic investments in science, technology, engineering, and math disciplines STEM. It passed the Connecticut General Assembly and was signed into law by Governor Daniel Malloy in June 2013. The funds will be used over a 10-year period to hire 250-plus new faculty, increase undergraduate enrollment by 6,580 students, and upgrade aging campus infrastructure. Money has also been allocated to build new STEM facilities, construct new STEM teaching laboratories and to create a premier STEM honors college. NextGenct will also allow for the construction of student housing and a digital media center at the Stamford campus, and allow for the relocation of the Greater Hartford campus back to downtown Hartford. Topic. Avery Point Campus Yukon's Avery Point campus overlooks Long Island Sound in the town of Groton. 
It is home to the National Undersea Research Center, the Connecticut Sea Grant College, Project Oceanology, and the Long Island Sound Resource Center. The campus has undergone an extensive transformation in recent years, including new marine science and project oceanology buildings, a new research vessel, and renovations of the Branford House, the gymnasium, and the main academic building. The campus was formerly the summer home of Morton Freeman Plant, a 19th-century railroad, steamship, and hotel magnate. Branford House was his mansion overlooking Long Island Sound, reportedly worth $3 million when it was completed in 1904. Also located on the property was a caretaker's house the current police station and a barn and horse stable the current physical plant buildings. The estate included what is now the Shenacoset Public Golf Course located just north of the campus, which was turned over to the state of Connecticut in the 1930s. During World War II, the remaining portion of the plant estate was leased to the Coast Guard as a training center, and the Avery Point Light was built. In 1967, it was converted into the southeastern campus of the University of Connecticut, later renamed the University of Connecticut at Avery Point. Students have access to classes for all of UConn's traditional majors, as well as the Bachelor of General Studies BGS. There are three other majors that can be completed at the Avery Point campus besides the BGS degree, Coastal Studies, Maritime Studies, and American Studies. Graduate programs are also offered in STEM teacher education, engineering, and nursing. Topic. Stamford Campus In 1951, the University of Connecticut began offering extension courses at the former Stamford High School to provide education for GIs returning from the Korean War. In the fall of 1952, the university formally established a regional campus in Stamford. Upon inception, UConn's Stamford campus offered five courses. English, Mathematics, History, Speech, and Sociology, and enrolled 21 part-time students. A newly constructed Yukon Stamford campus opened in 1962 on Schofield Town Road, and a separate library building was added in 1974. Also in the mid-1970s, the academic program was expanded to provide a four-year degree in several fields of study. In 1990, planning began for a new Yukon Stamford campus in the heart of downtown Stamford. One of the first Yukon 2000 building projects, the new campus opened in 1998, offering a variety of academic programs including undergraduate and graduate degrees. The contemporary glass enclosed campus features a high tech approach to learning with Internet access in classrooms, laboratories, student amenities, and public spaces. Design for the new Yukon building was led by Aaron Schwartz, then of Perkins Eastman. In collaboration with area businesses, Yukon's Stamford campus established the Connecticut Information Technology Institute that provides IT professional development and cyber business research. The Stamford campus of the University of Connecticut offers complete undergraduate degree programs in 13 majors as well as the Bachelor of General Studies degree program. Majors are American Studies, Business Administration, BSBA, Business Data Analytics, BSBDA, Financial Management, BSFM, Digital Media and Design, BA, and BFA, Economics, English, Human Development and Family Sciences, History, Political Science, Psychology, and a Certificate Entry into Nursing, CEIN, BS, an Accelerated Pre-Licensure Program. At the graduate level, Masters of Business Administration MBA, Masters of Business Analytics and Project Management MSBAPM, and an MS in Financial Risk Management are offered. In August 2017, Yukon's first ever permanent residence hall for students outside the store's campus was opened at Stamford. The six-story, 116-unit building is intended to house 290 students. Topic Hartford Campus In August 2017, Yukon formally opened its new campus in downtown Hartford, after nearly 40 years in neighboring West Hartford. The new campus is located within Hartford's Front Street neighborhood, a portion of the Adrian's Landing project. The centerpiece of the new campus is the historic Beaux-Arts former headquarters of the Hartford Times. 
UConn Hartford offers a wide range of liberal arts and sciences courses and degrees to over 1,400 undergraduate and more than 600 graduate students. Students pursue undergraduate degrees in American Studies, Business and Technology, Business Administration, English, General Studies, Human Development and Family Sciences, Psychology, and Urban and Community Studies. The Center for Continuing Studies provides a number of certificate program options, in addition to the Bachelor of General Studies, an interdisciplinary degree program tailored to meet individual needs and goals of returning, non-traditional, part-time adult students. Due to the Yukon Hartford's proximity to the state capitol and legislative offices, the university's Department of Public Policy DPP, is based at the Hartford campus. The DPP offers a Master of Public Administration, Master of Public Policy, Master of Arts in Survey Research, and four graduate-level certificates. The university's School of Social Work is also located at the Hartford campus and offers a Master of Social Work and Ph.D. in Social Work. UConn Hartford also offers the one-year Master of Education with Teacher Certification Program for college graduates. Located at Constitution Plaza in downtown Hartford, UConn's Graduate Business Learning Center GBLC, is home to the UConn School of Business full-time, part-time and executive MBA program along with master's programs in Business Analytics and Project Management MSBAPM, Financial Risk Management FRM, as well as the SSNC Technologies Financial Accelerator. The center was remodeled in 2004 to create a state-of-the-art facility featuring the latest technology. The university has announced that the GBLC will be expanding in Constitution Plaza in 2017 as a result of capacity issues in the future Front Street campus. Topic. Waterbury Campus The University of Connecticut's Waterbury campus serves more than 1,000 students annually. Topic: Torrington Campus. The University of Connecticut at Torrington, founded in 1957, was closed May 2016 due to low enrollment numbers. Topic. Bioscience Connecticut In June 2011, the Connecticut General Assembly approved legislation for Bioscience Connecticut, a plan proposed by Connecticut Governor Daniel P. Malloy to jump start the Connecticut economy. According to the proposal, Bioscience Connecticut will result in the creation of 3,000 construction jobs annually from 2012 through 2018 and a $4.6 billion increase in personal income by 2037, while generating more than 16,000 jobs. The initiative includes plans for renovations to existing facilities on the Yukon Health Campus in Farmington, as well the construction of a new patient tower and ambulatory care facility, and seeks to increase Yukon Health's medical and dental school enrollments by 30%. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson Laboratory In January 2012, Governor Malloy announced that Jackson Laboratory Jacks had reached an agreement to launch a $1.1 billion genomic medicine laboratory on the campus of Yukon Health. The laboratory is an independent, non-profit biomedical research institution based in Bar Harbor, Maine. According to the agreement, Jackson Laboratory will enter into a collaborative research agreement with Yukon Health and will create at least 300 positions within 10 years, 30% of total employees being senior scientist positions. Once fully developed, the facility is projected to employ 600 scientists and technicians. The state of Connecticut has approved $291 million of the total capital and research budget. Jackson Laboratory will raise the balance of $860 million through federal research grants, philanthropy, and service income. Topic: Academics. Topic undergraduate students at UConn can pursue over 100 majors, 8 undergraduate degrees, 17 graduate degrees and 5 professional degree programs. 
Students choose from 87 different minors at UConn, including areas of study not offered as formalized majors. UConn participates in the New England Board of Higher Education's Regional Student Program allowing students from the five other New England states to enroll at the university at a reduced out-of-state tuition rate if their intended major is not offered by one of their in-state universities. The university also participates in a special guaranteed admissions program with the Connecticut Community Colleges CCC that is designed for academically qualified students who are attending a Connecticut Community College and who are planning to transfer to the University of Connecticut in liberal arts and sciences, agriculture and natural resources, business, or engineering. Each year, more than 1,000 transfer students are admitted to the university. Topic. Admissions As of 2017, of the entering freshmen at the main campus in stores, 54% ranked in the top tenth of their high school class and 89% in the top quarter. Approximately 50,000 prospective students and their families tour the main campus in stores annually. UConn's retention rate is among the best for public universities in the nation, with 93% of students returning for their sophomore year. UConn ranks third out of 58 public research universities on basis of graduation time, with the average time to graduate being 4.2 years among those who graduate within six years. Topic. Graduate and postgraduate. Bachelor's, Master's, and Doctoral programs are offered through the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, College of Agriculture and Natural Resources, the Graduate School, the NEAG School of Education, the School of Nursing, the School of Business, the School of Dental Medicine, the School of Medicine, the School of Engineering, the School of Social Work, the Ratcliffe Hicks School of Agriculture, the School of Pharmacy, the School of Law and the School of Fine Arts. Founded in 1921, the University of Connecticut School of Law is accredited by the American Bar Association and is a member of the Association of American Law Schools. The campus is located just outside the downtown core of Hartford, minutes away from the Connecticut State Capitol, state courts and agencies, and the offices of Hartford's law firms and corporations. Law students have ready access to all of these institutions for study, externships, clinical education, practice, and employment. The campus is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Its Gothic-style buildings, constructed in 1925 except for the new library, which was completed in 1996, housed the Hartford Seminary until 1981. The law school has approximately 620 students and a student-faculty ratio of 11 to 1. UConn Law has repeatedly been ranked the top public law school in New England by U.S. News & World Report, and was most recently in 2013 ranked 58th of American law schools. There are four scholarly journals edited on campus, the Connecticut Law Review, the Connecticut Public Interest Law Journal, the Connecticut Insurance Law Journal, and the Connecticut Journal of International Law. Students may pursue concentrations in corporate law, criminal law, environmental law, family law, intellectual property law, international law, juvenile law, labor law, litigation, tax law, torts and insurance, legal theory, information technology law, property and land, child advocacy, and policy. The school is particularly known for its strong insurance law and intellectual property law programs. The Yukon Health Campus in Farmington is home to the School of Medicine, the School of Dental Medicine, John Dempsey Hospital and faculty practices in medical and dental health care. The Lyman Maynard Stowe Library, which is housed at Yukon Health, was one of eight federally funded national network of libraries of medicine libraries from 1991 to 2001. Topic rankings and reputation The University of Connecticut has been designated a public ivy in the public ivies, America's flagship public universities. The university was ranked tied for 24th among public universities in the U.S. and tied for 64th among national universities in 2020 by U.S. News & World Report. Kiplinger's Personal Finance named UConn the 33rd best value in public higher education for 2019 26th on the basis of out-of-state tuition. 
The University of Connecticut was among the top ten producers of Fulbright scholars from research institutions in 2017. The 2015 Sierra Club Cool Schools list of environmentally responsible universities ranked UConn eighth in the U.S. Topic: Student life. Topic: Campus safety. In 2014, University of Connecticut was the highest in the nation, tied with Brown University, in total of reports of rape on their main campus, with 43 reports of rape. According to victim advocates, the reporting of these incidents was a positive development, demonstrating that sexual assault victims were comfortable stepping forward. In recent years, the University of Connecticut has invested in awareness and prevention of sexual assault by forming a special victims unit, establishing a victim support service, and creating a revised training program to teach how to deal with cases of sexual misconduct. As a result, a study conducted by the Higher Education Data Sharing Consortium showed that rates of sexual violence at the University of Connecticut are lower than the national average. Topic. Student organizations There is a wide variety of student organizations on campus, including fraternities and sororities, musical groups, and religious, athletic, political, cultural, business, military, artistic, and community service clubs. There are also student organizations set up with the intent of governing student life itself, the Undergraduate Student Government, the Interfraternity Council, the Panhellenic Council, Yukonberg, Residence Hall Association, and the various Residence Hall Councils. The University's Programming Board, the Student Union Board of Governors SUBOG, plans the largest students' events on campus. The organization is completely student-run and plans events like the annual concerts, homecoming, one-ton Sunday, weekly movies, and hosts a range of comedians and speakers each month. The university's daily student-run newspaper, The Daily Campus, is the largest student newspaper in the state of Connecticut. The university has a Huskyvision cable network, channels 14 and 16 at the university. Channel 14 is UCTV, a cable TV network consisting of student-made public access television shows. The university also has a student-run community radio station, WHUS, which broadcasts at 91.7 FM from the Yukon Student Union. Many of the students who work for Yukon's student media organizations also major in journalism. The University of Connecticut Department of Journalism is the only nationally accredited journalism program in New England. Stores Downtown Center has been a popular area for Yukon students, nearby residents, and visitors. It is a long-term construction project that continues to open new stores. It is a mixed-use town center that includes retail shops, restaurants, offices, and housing, situated on Connecticut Route 195 across from the Yukon campus. Some new features include a new Price Chopper supermarket, family-oriented restaurants, and an extension of the Yukon Co-op bookstore. While many area activities are held on campus, the university provides free local bus transportation and also arranges frequent bus trips to Boston, Manhattan, and the Connecticut shoreline. The main university campus also includes museums, theaters, and performing arts venues such as the Jorgensen Center for the Performing Arts, the J. Robert Donnelly Husky Heritage Sports Museum, the William Benton Museum of Art, the Ballard Institute and Museum of Puppetry and the Connecticut State Museum of Natural History. The Yukon Dairy Bar was started circa 1953. It remains open year-round and is well known for its ice cream, with roughly 200,000 customers visiting annually. Topic. Symbols Until 1933, the mascot of Yukon had been the Aggies, because of the university's original agricultural nature. In 1933, the university changed its name from Connecticut Agricultural College to Connecticut State College. To reflect this change, athletic teams were then known as the statesmen. 
In December 1934, the Husky was chosen as the mascot. All Yukon Huskies are named Jonathan in honor of Jonathan Trumbull. The current real Jonathan is Jonathan 14. He is often seen greeting fans and eating dog biscuits at sporting events. Jonathan is one of the few university mascots in the nation to have been selected by students via a popular poll. A statue of Jonathan can also be found outside near the entrances to Gample Pavilion and the Natatorium. This statue, by artist Larry Wazel, was dedicated in 1995. Students are known to rub its nose for good luck. The Yukon Fight Song, officially titled, Yukon Husky, but commonly called, The Husky Fight Song, is one of the most recognizable in the country, played by the Pride of Connecticut during nationally televised sporting events. An audio presentation of the song is available on the Yukon Alumni Association website. A full history of the song can be found on the Yukon Advance website. The official colors of the University of Connecticut are blue and white, with red accents included on athletic uniforms. Topic. Traditions Coated with thousands of layers of paint over the decades, the rock is a student tradition dating back to the late 1940s. Students repeatedly paint it to promote student events, including dances, pep rallies, student elections, parades, fraternity and sorority functions and a host of other campus activities. The current rock is a portion of a much larger outcropping that was originally located across from the North Campus Quadrangle and removed for construction of the Life Sciences Building in 1958. Forty years later it was put into storage during the Yukon 2000 construction program. The rock was relocated to its present site in 2008. Yukon officials measured the paint's depth with a small drill in fall 2018 and determined 1.25 inches of paint had accumulated on the rock since it was returned to the site in 2008. Uzbal is Yukon's annual mud volleyball tournament. Each year, over 1,000 players and spectators come out to watch Yukon's finest get down and dirty. 2012 marked the 29th running of Uzbal, making it the longest running tournament of its kind in the nation. Lip Sync is one of Yukon's signature homecoming events, in which teams from the cultural centers and Greek organizations compete in a high energy lip syncing contest. Each team choreographs a routine set to popular songs, and performs in front of thousands of fans in Gampel Pavilion. The annual spring concert organized by the Student Union Board of Governors SUBOG, has attracted top artists and bands such as Outkast and Third Eye Blind in 2000, Guster and Nelly in 2001, Fat Joe and Nine Days in 2002, 50 Cent and Busta Rhymes in 2003, Ludacris and Kanye West in 2004, Nas and Fabulous in 2005, OAR in 2006, Dashboard Confessional, Real Big Fish and The Starting Line in 2000. 2007, Method Man, Red Man, Flo Rida and T-Pain in 2008, 50 Cent and Naughty by Nature in 2009, Jax Mannequin and Kid Cudi in 2010, B.O., B and Far East Movement in 2011, Wiz Khalifa in 2012, Kendrick Lamar and Steve Aoki in 2013, J. Cole in 2014, ASAP Ferg and Schoolboy Q in 2015, Fetty Wap in 2016, and Khalid and PNB Rock in 2018. SUBOG planned to host Lil Uzi Vert and Amine in 2017 but due to a tropical storm grounding all flights in the area, the show needed to be cancelled. It is known for sizable outdoor parties which historically draw more than 10,000 attendees. Topic. Greek life Since 2003, Yukon has established university-owned Greek housing in the Husky Village, created an office of fraternity and sorority life, and hired full-time staff to administer the Greek life program. Currently, 32 national social fraternities and sororities have chapters at Yukon. Athletics. <laughs> 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 The University of Connecticut athletic teams are nicknamed the Huskies and compete at the NCAA's Division I level and in the Football Bowl subdivision. 
UConn moved to the American Athletic Conference in most sports in 2013. The Huskies were a charter member of the American when it was founded in 1979 as the original Big East Conference, and were the only remaining charter member of that league. In 2019, UConn accepted a formal invitation to join the Big East Conference following a unanimous vote of the conference's members. The Huskies will begin playing in the Big East in the 2020-2021 season in all 20 sports except for football and men's, women's ice hockey. UConn men's ice hockey became a full member of Hockey East in 2014-15. The women's hockey team will remain in the Hockey East as well, as they were founding conference members in 2002 when the league began women's ice hockey competition. The football program will not be returning to the AAC and will begin play as an FBS independent starting in the 2020-2021 season. Regardless of football conference affiliation, the school has publicly committed to competing in Division I FBS for the foreseeable future. This will make UConn the only member of the Big East to compete at the highest level of college football. Many UConn student athletes have gone on to succeed at the professional level, including Ray Allen, Josh Boone, Karan Butler, Andre Drummond, Rudy Gay, Richard Hamilton, Tony Hansen, Jeremy Lamb, Shabazz Napier, Emeka Okafor, Charlie Villanueva, and Kemba Walker in the NBA, Sue Bird, Swin Cash, Tina Charles, Stephanie Dolson, Bria Hartley, Maya Moore, Renee Montgomery, Rebecca Lobo, Katie Lou Samuelson, Brianna Stewart, and Diana Taurasi in the WNBA. Donald Brown, Tyvon Branch, Darius Butler, Will Beatty, Nick Jacquinto, Obi Melifonwu, Byron Jones, and Dan Orlovsky in the NFL, Walt Droppo, Charles Nagy and George Springer in the MLB, and Kevin Burns, Shavar Thomas, O'Brien White, Andre Blake, Carlos Alvarez, Sergio Campbell, Tony Cassio, Josh Ford and Mamadou Dudu Diouf in the MLS. UConn men's basketball player Emeka Okafor 2004 and women's basketball players Rebecca Lobo 1995, Maya Moore 2011 were named the National Academic All-Americans of the Year by the College Sports Information Director of America as seniors. UConn student athletes graduate at a higher rate than the general student body and many teams and individuals have won honors for academic excellence. UConn is well known for its men's and women's basketball teams, both of which are considered among the best programs in the country. The men's basketball teams have won four national championships 1999, 2004, 2011 and 2014 while the women's basketball teams have won 11 national championships 1995, 2000, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2009, 2010, 2013, 2014, 2015 and 2016 and have played in a total of 19 NCAA Final Fours, including nine in a row. The women's team went undefeated in the 1995, 2002, 2009, 2010, 2014 and 2016 seasons and ended a 111-game winning streak in the 2017 NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Tournament. UConn is the only Division I school to sweep the men's and women's basketball titles in the same year, and has done it twice, in 2004 earning stores the nickname, Basketball Capital of the World and 2014. The university elevated its football program to the Football Bowl subdivision in 2002, although the school first fielded a team in 1896. UConn became the quickest program to go from FBS elevation to a bowl championship series game when it played in the 2011 Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. UConn has now played in a total of six bowl games. In addition, the UConn men's soccer team has won three national championships, in 1948, 1981 and 2000, while the women's soccer team advanced to the national championship title game in 1984, 1990, 1997 and 2003. UConn is also a blue-chip program in field hockey, where it has advanced to the national semifinals 16 times, winning national championships in 1981. 1985, 2013, 2014, and 2017 as an associate member of the Big East Conference. The Husky baseball team has played in the NCAA College World Series five times, and participated in the 2011 NCAA Super Regionals. 
The Husky baseball team won the 2013 Big East Championship in Florida, defeating the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. UConn's Husky logo underwent a significant redesign which was unveiled in April 2013. The updated logo, designed by Nike, has appeared on all athletic uniforms since the fall 2013 season. Topic. Alumni Topic See also XL Center in Hartford, second home of both basketball teams and home of the men's hockey team Pratt & Whitney Stadium at Rentschler Field in East Hartford, home to the football team J.O. Christian Field, home to baseball team. Mark Edward Freitas Ice Forum, home to the women's hockey team and former home of the men's hockey team. Moroni Stadium, on-campus stadium, home to men's and women's soccer teams. University of Connecticut Historic District, a historic district encompassing the historic core of the store's campus. Long River Review, University of Connecticut's literary review magazine.